Hi again. I'm still Dan. This is still Walter. And this is still Remy. And we're excited to read about more bold women in black history. And I thought today we could read about a visual artist, because we haven't really thought about any visual artists yet. Yeah, you're excited? Hey, that book is not for eating, bud. We have other books that are for eating, that are just for you. But this is one that we're not going to eat. It's too important. All right. Today, we are going to read all about Lorna Simpson, an incredible photographer. There we are. Lorna Simpson. She was born in 1960, and she's still alive today. And she is a photographer. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Lorna began her career as a documentary photographer with the goal of capturing life as it is. After college, though, she took a trip to Europe and Africa and became interested in changing the way people could experience photographs. She wanted to use photography as a way of understanding the subject instead of just looking at it. In particular, she wanted to create a better understanding of African-American women. Much of Lorna's work focused on experimenting and finding new ways to develop imagery. In the 1980s, while doing graduate study at the University of California, San Diego, Lorna began to incorporate text into her images to add a second layer of meaning. She called this new style phototext, and these became her most iconic works. Huh, it sounds like she was making memes before there was an internet. That's awesome. She brought attention to contemporary society's relationship with and perception of African American women. Through her art, she tackled subjects such as race, gender, and identity. Many of her works obscure the figures' faces. She calls them anti-portraits. Why do you think she would call her pictures anti-portraits? Well, what's a regular portrait do? It shows you what a person looks like. Can you really tell what a person looks like if you can't see their face? Do you think you can really understand who a person is as an individual and respect and appreciate their individuality when all you can see of them is their hair or their arm? Do you care more about a person when you can't see their face or when you can see their face? So I'll ask you again, why do you think she calls these photographs anti-portraits. I wonder if Lorna is trying to help me understand that black people are not always valued and respected as individuals. And that's upsetting. We need to be better. Lorna has exhibited her photographs at some of the most respected venues around the art world. In 1990, she became the first African-American woman to exhibit at the biggest international arts festival of all, the Venice Biennale. Lorna continues to push the boundaries of photography and experiments with other media, such as video, drawing, and silkscreen printing. Her work has helped pave the way and create a space in the fine art world for other black women artists. Wow. I have to say, a lot of Lorna Simpson's photographs are really beautiful, but I think it's pretty obvious that she didn't become an artist just to make pretty pictures. Mm -mm. She's an activist. She uses art, photography, collage, all the work that she does to help tell stories, to help us think about our world and maybe to understand it in a new way. And she's awfully good at it. Keep up the good work, Miss Simpson.